Now if you want to really wow your friends, and this is again another great thing that Northline Express we've all come up with, is your individual pizzas for your friends and family. Let me show you some things that we did here. Now this is so fast, so easy, and it really looks gourmet, especially doing it on the grill. You're going to have some really beautiful char marks on the pizza it itself, but you're also going to have that great flavor on there. Now. Um, we took a rolled, uh, a rolled pizza dough, cut it into fours. Now it's originally about this big or so, but we cut that into fours because you're doing individual sizes. We also have an Italian blend of cheeses that has your provolone, your mozzarella together. I have some pineapple. We have some mixed uh, peppers there, some orange and some yellow. Some mushrooms, a little bit of... Um, ham right there and then your pepperoni. We have the pizza sauce right here and we do recommend to get a really good pizza sauce blend um, to go with a little bit of a higher end because that's where a lot of your flavor is going to come from as well. And then we have some Parmesan cheese to top that off with. And as always kosher salt is a great topper there and some fresh cracked pepper. Now let me go ahead and show you how easy this is. I'm just going to pull this off unroll it so that's great size for individual and it doesn't have to be perfect the main thing about this is this is a very rustic looking cell dish and it tastes great let's go and get started we have the grill at 500 degrees with the pizza stone on and you want that stone on for at least 10 to 15 minutes to where it gets really hot now one of the first things we're going to do here is take a little bit of cornmeal and we're just going to sprinkle the top. That gives you a little bit of a crunch on the bottom and also prevents your pizza from or your dough from sticking to it. Okay, And we have our Weber dish here. Now this is our saucing system. I just have some olive oil in there. And this is, we're just going to lightly put this right on top, but this dish is just wonderful to have. You can keep it all in one. It's great for, as you see, I'm using it for olive oil. Um, barbecue sauce works very well in this. And it's nice and heavy duty. I mean, when you get a hold of a Weber tool, you can really feel the quality in that, in that product. And we're just going to lightly do that there part that I love is see how I just put it in and it's staying in place that's awesome you don't want to create a mess when you're trying to enjoy yourself here now let me go ahead and pull this off and put that right on top now one thing that you're I would definitely recommend to use for your individual pizzas or if you're doing a full-size pizza is the fish turner. Um, this is another Weber product but it's very heavy duty and look at the size of this and it has I don't know if you can see that here but it's a little bit on an angle right here so when that pizza is done and you're going to flip that and turn that over this is going to make it so much easier and that's what cooking's all about. You want to have fun. You want to have fun with your friends, your family, and especially when you're involving them in with the cooking so everyone can just enjoy themselves. Why not have some tools that are going to make it a lot easier for cooking on them and yourself? So we're going to go ahead and let that sit there for about two to three minutes. We're going to check the side just to see how that's doing. We want it a little bit of a golden brown, and then we're going to start to add our toppings. Now we're going to go ahead and turn this over this should be about ready and look at it's boiling on top see how easy that just went right under there flipping that over that's exactly what you want it's nice and brown and let's go in and add some of our toppings we're gonna start with a good pizza sauce and I like to add a little bit more sauce onto this especially being on the grill because you're not going to have like the uh, convection cell where it's going to leave it a little bit more doughy in the center so this helps soften the top a little bit and then we're gonna add our cheese 
Now for if you wanted to add Parmesan cheese, I do recommend to wait until the very end for that because that cheese is going to melt a little bit faster and it also um, can tend to brown. So I would just wait till afterwards. And we're going to add some mushrooms on here. Some pepperoni. And as you can see, I didn't add too much cheese right now because when I pull this off, we're going to add a little bit more there. And the last part is some peppers. And those peppers just gives it some great color. Now what we'll do is we're going to turn this to the lowest setting because you don't want anything on there to burn. And it's going to get nice, good melt all together. And we're going to close that up. We'll be back in about two minutes. Our pizza is ready to come off now. I can smell it getting nice and good and melting all together. See how easy that was just to pull right off with your fish turner? It's a lot more than just a fish turner. So your friends and family can have a pizza really within about five minutes or so. But look at that pizza. Doesn't that look good? But let's go ahead and top that off with some Parmesan cheese. Just going to sprinkle a little bit because Parmesan does have quite a nutty flavor to it. So we don't want to have too much of that. And then kosher salt. Just going to do a sprinkle there. And just a little bit of pepper. Now doesn't that just look delicious? I mean everything's melted together and all your friends and family are going to be so impressed with a dish like this. I mean they're creating, creating the dish themselves so who can't be proud of that? 